So number two, the percentage of inspired gas. Let's say that instead of breathing in 10 particles, now we'll breathe in 20. So we double our inspired gas. So maybe instead of an FI of 2% for a, a Mac of 1, we're giving an FI of 4%, doubling the amount of gas we're delivering to the alveoli. Henry's law would dictate that um, this will force double the amount of particles into the blood. So instead of 4, we'll move 8 of these over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then our end tidal gas here will be 2.4%. So by doubling our fraction of inspired gas, we have much more easily saturated this column of blood with our inhalational agent. And actually the partial pressure here is 18 millimeters of mercury, which we know is above the 15 millimeters of mercury of partial pressure that we need to see in our central nervous system for this gas to have an effect. Next, for increasing minute ventilation, this should be pretty intuitive, but I'll draw it out quickly for you. So let's bring in 10 particles of gas. Let's say that our blood to gas partition coefficient is 0 0.65, as it was in the previous example. Therefore, of these original 10, we're going to move 4 over. Putting 4 in the blood, dissolved in the blood, and leaving 6 in our alveoli. But let's say we've doubled our minute ventilation, so this column of blood is now going to see an entire new breath. So we'll expire this air containing some gas, and then we'll bring in a whole new set of 10 uh, particles. Then to reach this blood gas partition coefficient, we will lose one and a half of these particles to our blood. So those ones will dissolve. So we'll have one and a half here, and then we'll have eight and a half left in our alveoli. So these ones are gone because we, we expired those with our last breath. But now left in the alveoli, after two cycles of breathing, or by increasing our minute ventilation by a factor of two, we are left with eight and a half of these particles. So our FA here is 8.5, and our FI was 10. So our FA over FI equals 0 0.85, which is increased from 0 0.7, which we saw as our FA over FI after our first breath. So by Increasing our minute ventilation, we have increased the partial pressure of the gas in our blood, and um, that's reflected in our increased FA over FI.